YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. This is TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. We start here with chapstick because my lips is always dry. Ah, uh, if my face is looking weird today, it's because I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately. I should just say if my face looks weird today, it's because my face just looks friggin' weird. I've been experimenting with concealers again. I purchased the wrong shade in the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish, and this shade is medium golden but it's pink and to try to even it out I went under here with the NARS radiant something or other medium dark to caramel but that didn't even I don't know who came up with these shades the shade names this is not medium golden this is pink I'm going to show you That is not medium golden. That's pink. And that, yeah, but anyway. So that that's what, sorry about that. So that's what happened today. So it's like, <clears throat> anyway. I used my Fenty powders again. Because I've been using the e.l.f. putty. Oh, excuse me. I just spit everywhere. <laughs> I've been using the help the elf putty blushes. I mean the elf putty bronzers and the one putty blush that I have. So today I did use the putty blush today, but I used my Fenty setting powders and I do miss them. I love them. Oh, another tidbit before we start in the video. I know like why do I okay. Because I'm crazy. I used up another Fenty Brow MVP. I was going to say Brow Wiz, but this is Brow MVP. This is the second one that I used up. And I already do have a backup because when stuff goes on sale, I get extras. So I'm really excited. I really like when I use things up because I'm not wasting money. All right, my eyes are already primed. We're going to jump in with a look with the Bieber palette. This is what she look, looks like. We're going to be in this middle row. Why do I feel like I did a middle row already? I think it was one of those, this is here, this is there, this is here, this is there, not an actual tutorial. So we're gonna do the tutorial today. And I do have a playlist for all of the Natasha Denona palettes that I have, and actually for my Vizier palettes. And I am building one for the Scott Barnes palettes that I have. So if you wanna see any of those, Go to the playlist and I will link them as an end cap. Uh, well, the Natasha Denona ones. And then one of the end caps will be best video, which are any of them my best? I don't know. But let's jump to it because my eyelids are sticking from the Fenty primer. I will list the names and the placement below. And I will also, yeah. Um. <laughs> And I do have all my brushes out. I'm ready to go. We're going to take Tone, which is a cream to powder, this shade here. And that is going to go on the lid. I'm wondering if this palette is getting old because some of these cream to powders... Hold on a second. Some of these cream to powders are starting to get a little crumbly. But according to my label this palette is good until May 2022 so I don't know I don't know or maybe it was because I put a cream to powder in the crease because it creased as well like in the pan swiping the brush in it it's crumbly it's getting crumbly um, but the last tutorial I did which may be uploaded last week so I'm trying to do like a certain day with a certain palette because I don't want to just do everything sunset, everything circle loco. So I'm just trying to space them out so you don't get too bored. Um, but yeah, I noticed later that my crease had creased and I'm just like, what? And I don't remember which shadow it was, but I do remember it was either the cream to powder or it might have, I think it might have been a creamy matte, but I've never had a problem with them creasing before when I take my lid colors like I am now up into the crease and so 
I'm hoping it's not dying already, but if it is, I have a backup already from when Natasha Denona had her bundle sale. When I got another Biba and the Circle Local palette for $170. But it will just still kind of suck that I may not get the two full years out of the palette. And I keep them dried. Keep them dried. I keep them stored, you know, in a dry place so they're not they're kept here like where i'm sitting which is my so-called dining area and i do keep them closed and so it's not like it's in a humid environment and if anything it's a cool spot because there's a vent up here so when my ac blows it's blowing on where i'm sitting so if anything my makeup is kept pretty cool and so because I'm talking, I won't be able to cut this out. Or I still just could, but I'm having fun babbling. I hope you are entertained. So this look is going to be very everyday, very neutral, as you can see. Nothing extravagant. Do I ever do anything extravagant? No. I do colorful, though. Not as colorful as some. Uh, but colorful for me or bold for me, but not today. See, look at this. This is toned, the one I just used, and I don't know if you can see like the crumbles in there, but yeah, I'm not, um, yeah, that's kind of bothering me. And it still looks good though, but I'm wondering if it's gonna crease like the other cream to matte or whatever it was creased. And I don't remember which one it was. All right, we're going to switch to transition shade. We're going to use the shade next to it. This is Buff, and that one is a creamy matte. We're going to take a fluffy brush because this is going in transition, so we're going to cover all of this area up here. We're going to just dab straight in because we're going to tap it on, and then we're going to go back and blend because this Fenty primer is a tacky primer. And so I'm not always able just to go straight in with the windshield wiper motions. So we're taking this, as you can see in this area here, adding a little bit of dimension. So I'm tapping in again, straight in, and we're going to pat. See how that still even showed up? And then we're going to swipe windshield washer that side looks darker than this side does it or am i just seeing things or is it the lighting i don't know i think it is darker all right let me pat some more and pat some more oh yeah okay it was me and then we're going to swish 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 swish, swish. Thumbs up if you like sound effects. <laughs> now this one looks like it's going here and this one looks like it's coming down here. You know what, something's looking a little funky. Looks like there's shadow there and it shouldn't be. So we're just going to take a clean brush, wiping that off. It's still there? Maybe that's just a wrinkle in my face. Yeah, maybe that's just a wrinkle. Like right here, to me, it looks like a shadow. Putting that brush down, getting back to the look. So we're going to go in this way, since this side looks like it's going this way. All right, we're going to move on. We are going to take a smaller fluffy brush, and we're going to dip into rayon this shade here so we did this for lid this for transition this is going to go uh, more so on the line i was going to say crease but more so on the line of tone and buff so that's where rayon is going to go and again we're going to dip straight in this is a cream to powder as well and that line right there. So just above the crease, but not as high up as buff. To 
just to put in a little more dimension. That is not showing up. Do, 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 Let's try this again. Let's try this again, folks. Um, so tone was a cream to powder. This is a cream to powder. Maybe they're just not wanting to mix together. All right, I packed a lot this time on the brush and I'm not tapping it off. I may need to go in with a more dense brush, a denser brush because this is not showing up. Let me swipe it sideways and it is picking up on the brush. Let me start from the corner. All right, then we're just gonna sweep Okay, that's what we needed to do. I need a, a denser brush. So we're just sweeping this in from the corner. Okay, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, maybe I should turn my, my little lights down. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we're gonna sweep again. And we're gonna brush over okie dokie here we go here we go here we go now we are cooking with fire where is this in cooking with gas growing up we had a gas stove I used to be so scared of that thing like if the pilot went out and you can smell the gas. So then you had to turn off the stove or that um, that burner and then turn it on and then light a match and just kind of put the match in so it'll light real quick. I used to be so scared of that when I was growing up. All right, so we have a little dimension going on. I'm going to swipe again because I want to build up. And I am putting pressure. I do need a a denser brush and I do have a denser brush but for some reason I'm just committed to using this one since it's already in my hand. I'm going to swipe again. Actually this side doesn't need to be built up. Just this side does. So I'm sweeping in again and I'm not brushing off, excuse me, I'm not tapping off my brush in between because I want to get that color down. All right. I'm going to sweep in again, bring this down here, sweep in again, bring this down here. Okay, all right, we got it going. I do feel like, not feel like, I do think this is going to crease that lid shade that I took up into my crease, because it's just looking weird to me. Yeah, it'll suck if I don't get, um all the use out of this palette we're going to wipe off the brush we used to clean off that invisible spot of shadow right there and we're going to take monroe this shade here which is a metallic and that's going to go on our inner tear duct area and we're going to wrap it underneath a little bit And very lightly, I'm kind of scared to do this. We're going to take this as our brow arch highlight very lightly because this shade can get bright. Well, it is a, a bright shade, a shimmery shade, a metallic shade. It's metallic. We're going to take the brush that had tone on it, that first shade, and we're just going to... Just lightly sweep, just to tone down that metallic shade just a little bit. Alrighty, now we're going to take, I was going to say it wrong, Fenty Fly Pencil in Big Truffle, which is brown. 
Why does it look like there's something on my lower lash lines already? I promise you I did not put anything there. But we're going to take Big Truffle and put that under our lower lash line. I'm going to close that up. I'm going to pick up a smudge brush. I am not a fan of pulling lids. Not at all. Whether you have wrinkles like I do or you don't. I don't recommend it. I'm not for it. But here I am doing it. Do what I say and not as I do. Don't pull on your lids. Then we're going to take Pasha, the last shade in that row. Which pencil was I going to use? This one. And Pasha is a cream to matte formula. We're going to put that on our lower lash line. And hopefully today I will not get shadow in my eye. I find that I'm liking using shadow for eyeliner because number one, it's easier to get off than a gel liner or a liquid liner. And number two, if you're using the same shade that's on your lower lash line, it, it ties it in together. Even a brown lighter, liner, excuse me, would have tied this in the same. So that is it for the eyeshadows. I'm going to do just mascara. I'm not going to, oh, you know what, inner rims. What am I going to do for inner rims? Do I have a brown for inner rims? I don't think I do. I do not use the Fenty Fly Pencils on my inner rims because they irritate the hell out of my eyes. I'm going to use this dark purple. I used it the other day. Which that video won't be uploaded until the end of September. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is NYX Professional Makeup Retractable Eyeliner. The number is MPE17 Deep Purple. Ooh, okay, let me, all right. So, we're gonna put that on our waterline. We're not gonna do our top waterline, we just wanna do the bottom. Can you see a difference? I always wonder. Even when I used to do this, excuse me for that, so rude. I used to think it didn't make a difference. I, I used to always put a blue here. Well, like a little subtle difference, but I didn't think that anybody would really notice. But people would, would. They would be like, is that a blue you have on your for eyeliner? And I'm like, oh, they can see that. Cool. All right. Excuse me. My allergies. Uh, sitting under this vent and the AC is blowing on me. Fenty. Full frontal mascara upper and bottom lashes. I'm going to cut this part out. I am digging it. Everyday regular look. Wiping off some chapstick. We're going to try e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick and this one is in coffee. I really like the one Vampy Violet, and they didn't have that many dark colors. And so I'm like, maybe this one will be like a nude on me. We're going to see if it doesn't go with the look. That will be nothing new for this channel. Huh, okay. Yeah, it's a nude on me. Almost. Yeah, nude on me. Nude on me. Which means I don't have to be ultra precise <laughs> with my placement. All right, all right. You know what, y'all? I just realized I didn't brush my hair since this morning. Did y'all even notice? Probably not, right? <laughs> and like, why brush it down? You guys have seen me for this entire video. See, this is the crazy part of the crazy and the crazy troll nation. I just like bust out and do stuff. And it's just like, why? 
Like, why is she doing that now? I cut my hair again like two nights ago. I think it was either a blah, 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 blah. Either the 21st or the 22nd. It was the 22nd, but it was like 2 in the morning or something like that. And no, this is not a bald spot. That's gray hairs. I have grays sprinkled throughout, but like this branch of the family are always having a reunion. This is a gray patch down here and also from wearing my glasses but this side doesn't have it this side is another gray patch so this is having a reunion these people up here having a reunion i am like way off track of this video <laughs> if you like the look let me know if you don't like the look let me know that too if you have beaver palette as i say in most of my videos feel free to post your looks below and i will check them out and this feels nice it dried down quick. Oh my, that's dry already. So thank you for being here. And you will see me in the next video. I'll be tripping. If you're here for it, subscribe, thumbs up. Appreciate you. You'll see me in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.